Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our long readings for Sagittarius and Capricorn season. How are you doing, my Sagges? Now, I know your birthday season's ended, but it's okay because Capricorn is going to bring about new energies. So, you know that when I am doing my long readings, I am using a lot of decks. I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I will jump to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards to kind of clarify. My Osha Zen Tarot cards, I'll ask for any words of advice. I then come back to Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards, and then I will pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal cards. Okay, now I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. Whatever the message, my job just deliver. I did do an overview of Capricorn season. Posted it last week. I was going to say last year. Last week. Take a look at it. It does have some really good stuff, but we are going to go right into our readings, and here we are, one, two, and three. Three cards are face down. The first one's reversed, so strong energy with that one. I do need my glasses, though. So let's see what we have for my Sagittarius's. First card, reversed, King of Fire, King of Fire, okay. Kings have the underlying energy. I've talked about the court cards. The underlying energy for a king is air. Lots of wisdom, lots of smarts, okay? You know, really he, very, very ex experienced. Fire energy is your energy. It's also Aries. It's also Leo. It's passionate, burning, it's determined. I like the king of fire because the king of fire, while he knows it all, he also has a lot of oomph with it all too, okay, oomph, he also has lived his life by his rules, okay, he has, has had this passion, now, yes, the king, the other kings might have, but I really feel like the king of fire lives his life by his rules, and he, you know, and his rules are, are something that's even more encompassing, if you want to go with the fire energy, it's bigger than just the, than what the king of air does. The king of air is a little bit narrower, needs to make sure that he, you know, he dots his eyes, crosses his T's, and that is that part of that energy. But there's also bigger. This is bigger and better type of energy. Now, again, fire energy, yours, Aries, and Leo, passionate, burning, determined. The king of fire sees that bigger picture. The king of fire isn't confined by rules and regulations that would confine others. Now, I'm not saying that he doesn't follow the law. He does. He does follow the law. He, you know, so I'm not trying to say you're going to break the law. It's not that per se. It's not that. But you see bigger than just, you're not so confined. How's that? You're not confined. You, you just see bigger. You just see bigger. It's, this is what is happening with Capricorn season. And it's because of Aquarius energy blowing doors down, blowing things away, it's you see bigger, okay? And you go after bigger, too. The king of fire doesn't let um, doubts come in, okay? The king of fire is confident and, and is also a... And the king of fire is a good salesperson, too. The king of fire uses his words and is actually able to get people to support him. Okay, male or female, male or female, the king's a male, but this is for male or female. Anyway, king of fire is motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, 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 communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So this is, you know, my Sagittarius is, if you've been seeing something and you've been knowing something, the other thing that's going on with this Aquarius energy is total and strong psychic downloads. Okay, knowing things more than you know. Now we're still transitioning a little bit into this, so it's it's going to grow and grow and grow, and you know. So just but be aware when this happens. Be aware that, you know, this is what I'm talking about. When you when you know something and you know and you're kind of like, ooh, I just know this, you know. But again, you're not hemmed in. You're not fenced in either. I I feel like 
There is no fences around you. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, just had to say it. Next card is, here we go, Five of Air. Now, Air Energy. I was just talking about that. That is Aquarius's. That's also Gemini. That's also Libra. It is your thought processes. It's hearing news. It's things downloading into your brain. It's those Wi-Fi, those Bluetooth. You know, if you're wearing your Bluetooth or your earbuds or something, it's like, you know, they're wireless and things just, you know, you're starting to hear. Well, it's obviously because you're connected with the music. But this is also connecting with that higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, you know, whoever that is to you, your archangels too. But fives have some changes in that, changes in your thought processes, changes in, so you start to see things a little bit differently. You start, you're, again, it's, it's like you're not fenced in as much. You start to see the bigger picture. So there's these changes, these changes in how you're seeing things. Now, fives, it could be a positive change, but it can be a negative change. It could be like, oh my gosh, you know, it just, you know, but I do, or it could be just a normal, neutral type of change too, okay? But there's this changes in your thought processes. It changes how you're perceiving. This is going to be very common. It's going to hit other, it's going to hit the signs differently, but it's still a very common um, theme through a lot of the readings. Because this Aquarius energy is, it, like I said, it, there's, there, it, it's blowing, you know, Aquarius likes to be free. Aquarius doesn't like to have fences. And this is, this is part that you're going to embrace also. Okay? Okay. Anyway. An unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. I will tell you, when you're seeing everything and you see this big picture, I'm going to tell you the thing that pops out here is review everyone's motives. Now, I don't want to make you paranoid. You know, what's the saying? I wouldn't be so paranoid if everyone wasn't out to get me. I'm not telling you that. I'm just saying you know, you know, when you're hearing something, it, I, I feel like this is for you to watch, you to listen. Maybe not necessarily in bigger groups talk. You watch and listen, okay? Because you're going to see things. People are going to start talking, and you're going to be like, ah, oh, I got this on you. I, not I got this on you. Oh, that sounds nefarious. It's not that, but I understand more about you. How's that? Anyway, whoo, you're getting, you're going into some, into some deep stuff. Your next card here, ego, ego. So Archangel Jophiel. So put that, put that name down because when you are reaching out to higher power or at the universe and asking for help, you know, basically what's happening is they're sending Archangel Jophiel to help you. Now, ego has a little bit of, is a little fear-based. Ego is, I don't like how people perceive me. Now, I'm not, I don't know if this is actually you, my Sagittarius, is, or if this has that relationship to this person that I told you to watch their motives, okay? But we do have to respect and we do have to at least acknowledge that this could be about you with your own ego. We have to watch that. We do have to acknowledge that. So you might have to be careful about how are you necessarily responding to things. Like I said, you know, if this person is somebody that's not quite, you know, upright or something, you know, you may, you may want to run and hide. You may want to, you know, it might not, it might be more your ego speaking as opposed to what, you know, what is the truth type of that thing. But it could also be, you know, so you have to be careful and you have to be cognizant of that. You have to be aware of your own responses too. Okay, so I just want to say this, but it could also be, the people that, and again, I don't want to make you paranoid, but it could be the people around you also that they maybe they have the high egos, and you know, and it's kind of you know, a lot of times that can happen with leadership too. So you do have to be careful about what you know and how you see it because this could be somebody that actually steals your ideas. This could be somebody that actually uses your ideas for their benefit. Okay, okay. So I don't know. It's kind of like those things about, you know, when they keep your, you know, when you're playing poker, keep your cards close. Don't let people see. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, a false sense of entrapment. So there is that breaking free, you know, energy I was talking about. Being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Okay, 
So some, you, can, you got a couple little different meanings than what these actually meant. So somebody out there at least did. Now let's go on my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I, you know, I'll tell you this, I, you know, I love these cards, except they do not have court cards in them. So they cannot be used as a traditional tarot deck. But I do love them. I do feel very connected with them. Here we go. One, two, and three. I don't know what's reversed because you can't tell. Here we go. First card up. Ooh, seven. So, so that was reversed. Seven has that very spiritual umbrella, that very divine type of umbrella. There is a lot of movement with this too. But there's also, you know, that goes along with the king of fire. So if this is somebody, these are somebody that's a little bit separate from you, you will be triumphant. You're, you know, if you're putting out your ideas, you will be able to express them as your ideas. So maybe you will then have... Instead of it just telling to the person, you might have a bigger group of people. And you're like, well, you know what? This is what I was thinking, but maybe I should, you know, I don't know how you want me to tell you this. So it might be you need a little bit more witnesses. But I will tell you this. I have had, I have been in conferences or in business meetings where I still said it. And then five seconds later, five minutes later, somebody else said it. And, and you know, so sometimes it's a little harder to be heard. Okay, but this is about triumph. This is about, you know, winning the victory. This is about getting to be heard. Now, your next card here. Ooh, so now we have an 18 that was also reversed. So 18 does have a lot of that um, hidden energy, that darker energy. I shouldn't say darker because it's really not. It's that looking into and seeing part of that darker side. This is shadow. This is kind of, you know, there's mirror type of energy, but yet the mirror isn't really showing you the truth, showing you the really reality of the situation. Now, it's also, too, there is, there is the moon going on. So, you know, let's see, the moon going on. The moon is going to be the 29th and 30th of December. And remember, new moon to full moon, waxing, things get bigger, request. Full moon to new moon, waning, things get smaller, release. But the full moon does have a like a three win, three day window before and after where you can utilize the energy to release, relinquish, and request. Okay, but the thing about the moon is there are there's always things going on behind the scenes. We don't see the back of the moon. We only see the one side in all its different phases. So there there could be things going on behind you in the back and again I don't I'm not trying to tell you to be paranoid be watchful watchful my Sagittarius is so we have an 18 so we have the 10 we have the one you know transition new beginnings eight new you know unlimited opportunity add it together nines hey that's the end of it all so you know it's kind of like let's wrap it up I'm done with it I'm done with it so shadow's always very interesting what's going on behind those scenes your next card ooh Okay, so one of the uh, chakras, we haven't had that for a while. Three of, okay, the chakra, solar plexus chakra. Remember, chakras are your energy sources. If you go from your root to your heart, these are more your natural, um, you know, more of your natural chakras, your nat natural energies. Your heart, again, your heart to your crown, go more to the supernatural. Your heart holds that natural and supernatural energy, okay? Now, the, the solar plexus is a little bit, you know, it's a little bit above your belly type of thing. But this is your negotiation. This is your, what are you willing, and again, this fits with everything. What are you willing to compromise, my Sagittarius? Is? What are you willing to give up? What is your truth? Now, it could be definitely you're willing to give up a lot because of your ego. It could be like, oh, they're going to recognize me and, and see me, so I don't mind, you know. No, what are you willing? I don't think that you would do that because I think your integrity is too high. I think that your integrity is such like, uh, uh, uh. Again, I keep getting this message of truth around you, message of truth. And I don't think that you're willing to compromise your truth or your integrity. So, but it does look like, it does look like you're very victorious in protecting that and standing in your power. Okay? Okay. 
So you got some you got some big stuff, big stuff here. Now, Osha Zen Tarot for words of advice. Because there's a lot of things where you can come out extremely powerful, extremely strong, and you know, in, in a way that that triumph is also like you're there to save the day. Um, but again, too, whatever this piece is, you know, this piece, it's kind of like you're not. Get, I don't think you're getting the whole story, my Sagittarius. So just be very, very watchful. I know we're we're getting a little woo here, but be very watchful anyway. And I don't think I really don't think you're gonna negotiate. I don't think you're gonna. You won't give up your integrity. Hmm. 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 Here we go. One, two, and three. This is my Osha Zen Tarot. Let's see what we have here. Let's see if I can figure out if these are reversed or not. Here we go. One, two, three. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Nothing is reversed. I'm trying to figure these out. Anyway, totality. Here we have that five energy again. We have that change. And okay, so we have 15 here also. I didn't see that. So we have three fives. Five, five, five. Five here. We have another five here. So there's some changes, changes, changes. You will be victorious throughout these changes, but there will be others that try to lead you astray throughout these changes too. Just want to let you know that, okay? So what this is all about is this is totality. Totality. This is about trusting because there is one thing, you know, this person is either letting go or reaching out, okay? And there has to be this total trust in you know, higher power, guardian angel, your spirit guide, voice of the universe, your archangel, your divine, whoever that is to you. To me, it's higher power. And this is, to, you know, this like kind of like, okay, I got to put it out there. Remember, verbalize it. Verbalize it, at least to the universe. Positive, positive, but verbalize it. But you have a lot of five energy here. A lot of five energy here. Okay, so trust, trust, trust. But you have to trust in that higher power. Here we go. Next card up. Ooh, aware. Again, I've been telling you to be aware. Be aware of your, you know, it's like be aware of your surroundings, my Sagittarius. So, you know, here, this person has been in a veil. This person hasn't seen clearly. And yet now they're ripping the veil apart and they're seeing. And look at there's actually peace on this person's face where before there was fear, you know, you can kind of see, and now there's peace because the clarity is coming. The clarity is there. Last card, new vision, new way of looking at things, new start, new beginnings, new vision. Oh, you, you've got one of the more, I will tell you, there's been some readings that I really, really like, but yours is, a, yours is extremely interesting, my Sagittarius's. Yours is. I know I'm saving the last, the best for the last, right? Oops. Okay, that one just popped out. It fell on my lap. So let's go ahead and shuffle. Here we go. Standing in your power. You are the queen of Gabriel, male or female. You are the, well, you're either the queen of Gabriel or the king of fire. Standing in your power. Okay, because Gabriel is also fire energy. So here we go. Oh. Oh. I do love it when they jump, but I don't want to have to go pick it up. Here we go. Uh, 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 there we go. Oh, okay. So, standing in your power. Okay, now the queens have their underlying, their underlying energy is water, emotional. But this is your passionate, you're very feisty with this too. And you're not, you know, again, you are not compromising. You Now, I... I'm not saying compromise is always bad, but you are standing in your integrity here. And this is where it is be who you are. Now, passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Now, you will be able to get those people to hear you. You will be able to get them to hear your ideas, okay? You need to be, but you, you again, whoever this is, I would be very careful about just giving it to one person. I would bring in more people if I wanted to share my ideas. And because I kind of feel work energy, but it could be even something even more than that. So, but now, eight of Ariel. Ariel is your work energy, usually, it could be your home. It is earth energy. We don't have any earth energy here. Um, this is Capricorn. This is also, which we're in. 
This is also Taurus. It's also Virgo, something, someone you can touch home. could be your home, but a lot of times this has to do how you make your money, how you earn your living. Eights have unlimited opportunities, okay? They're like, there is unlimited opportunities going to be opening up for you. You do need to, um, you might need to invest a little time in you. Maybe you might have to invest into some training also, okay? But you've got the smarts for it. So anyway, the eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. This last one's the one that flew on the floor. These are all the ones that came out. It is reversed. Here we are. The two of Michael. Michael is your air energy. Two has some decision makings. Two has a couple of pathways to go. Two of Michael, two of air. It's kind of like, what are you going to do? Knowing all of this, knowing this, what do you do? What is your decision? What are you going to do now, my Sagittarius? So this is, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. So you do have a lot of change energy. You do have a lot of divine energy here, though, too. You do have a lot of, there's a lot of things that you might not know, but there's a lot of things that you are becoming more aware of. You need to stand in your power, stand in your place. You might need to, you might need to brush up a little bit on what you're talking about here, but you just, you know, there will be some decision time coming. Anyway, it's, yours is really very, very interesting, and I know that you will comment and let me know what this is all about. So... My Sagittarius says, let me go ahead. Let's see what crystal stone element, what it, whatever it is you might need to help you through Capricorn season. Here we go. Your last card, it is not reversed. Here we go. Emerald. Oh, I like emeralds. I don't have, I think I might have an emerald. A little chip, a little chip in an earring. Anyway, emerald. Unconditional love, beauty, recovery, also healing past lives. There's a lot of karmic earth karma being resolved this month, okay? This is that time. Interesting. I love it. I love it. Yours is probably the most interesting reading that I've done. So, my Sagittarius is, remember... You know what to do, the button. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. More importantly, my Sagittarius, my Sagittarius is know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.